welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is episode number four. Didn't look up the episode name, but I know they exist. Uh, last time, the Eldrick twins went to a father, Granya something, Granola, some holy man who could just appear things out of thin air without seeming to having to do equivalents, and he thought that... It, the brothers thought maybe he had an alchemist stone. They fought him. Turned out he didn't. All right, that's enough rambling for me. Let's just get into the episode number four. Here we go. You know, I made fun of this on the first watch through that I did, the first episode. But uh, it's kind of fucking catchy though, right? You are Bas Grown, the Iron Blood Alchemist, correct? Why? Who's asking? Foolish alchemists who have turned their backs on the ways of God shall all be punished. I see. Oh. You must be the bloodthirsty murderer who's been making a habit of targeting state alchemists lately. <laughs> well, this time, you picked the wrong target! Right. That wasn't so difficult. What? No! How? Now you perish. Another state alchemist dead. This killer was highly skilled. Major, you watch yourself. For all we know, you could be the next one he comes yeah, after. Yeah, yo. Understood. Yeah, that guy is fucking highly fabulous. We can't fucking lose him. Juror Bradley, Your Excellency, what brings you here? What do you think? He's got his quick draw sword. I got word of what happened. Lieutenant Colonel Hughes, with the officer in charge of this case? Yes, sir. Should you need any additional personnel, just ask. The man doing this is a traitor. I want him stopped. Damn. Sir. Does he know somebody's work? Does he recognize? I appreciate you resolving the matter. No big deal. It's not like we did it for you. Right. Damn. The philosopher still. Another false lead. Get him a good lead. Or no, you yeah, don't. You don't want him to be fake. done. Even so, the power it gave Cornello was real enough. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something that could help us restore our bodies. Hmm. It might help if you consulted a specialist. Huh? A sewing life alchemist, Shao Tucker. He's done some heavy research into chimera transmutation. Huh. I'll introduce you. You would do that for us? Okay, what's the catch? You want something, don't you? Don't doubt my motives. I'm trying to repay you for your work on the Lior case. Doing you a favor is better than being indebted to you. Hey. Two years ago, Tucker transmuted a chimera that could understand human hey. speech. That earned him his certification as a state alchemist. I understand human speech. You mean... Wait, you mean it talks? A chimera? Right. Supposedly. It only said one thing. I want to die. Oh shit. <laughs> After that, it refused to eat until it got its wish. Kill me! Kill me! You okay, then? Daddy! There are people out here. Look! Nina, this is why I told you to keep the dog tied up. I'm sorry about the mess. It's Ever since my piano wife song. ran out, Where this I place has this been a wreck. Like this. I'm not... I can't say for sure if it's going to be of any use to you or not. But why don't you go ahead and take a look at my laboratory? Might might have answers. Might have answers for down the line. It hasn't actually been going that well. Island of Doctor Moreau over here. More. So they have one fucking afternoon. Quite a catch these two. A couple of prodigies. That seemed very ominous. And that's like a thing that cuts people when they're tied down. So, um, swings around. So they have like a couple hours to read as many books as they can, that's it. Like, it's kind of shitty. What does assessment day mean? <laughs> State alchemists have to report on their research once a year in order to keep their certification. 
You see, last year, Nina, your daddy didn't get a very good evaluation. Unless I do something really impressive this year, I won't be a state alchemist anymore. <laughs> or we'll be left with nothing again. Not forgotten the role that state alchemists played in the Ishbalan Civil War. They keep talking about that Ishbalan. I can't afford to fail this assessment. I don't want to go back to those days again. I don't even think I could. Don't worry, Daddy. It's okay. If those people do tell you no, me and Alexander will growl at them until they say yes. <laughs> so what is? Tell him, Nina. So what could they tell him, hey, or what could they do to I've help got an him? Idea. Mr. Tucker. Yo, hey, was he targeted? Nina. He's a state alchemist. I did it, boys. I finally did it. There's Doc Camara that understands human speech. I thought it died. Listen to me. That person over there, that's Edward. That person, Edward. Yes, that's very good. Well done. That's amazing. It can actually talk. <laughs> but, <laughs> now I don't have to worry about losing my certification. <sighs> but is it just repeating it or does that it get it? That person, Edward. That person, Edward. Big Brother Ed. <laughs> Nina and Alexander. Are they real? Where are they? Damn Brett, figuring it out so quickly. Two years ago it was your wife! This time, you used your own daughter and her dog to transmute a talking chimera! You can only do so much with animals, after all. It's much easier when you start with a human, isn't that right? I don't see what you're so upset about. This is how we progress. It was a human experimentation. It, it was a chimera step. physically I don't think and a if you keep this up, he'll die. Yeah. Edward, no. Daddy. Do you hurt? That is so fucked. Like, there's still a piece of the daughter in there. I'm sorry. Even with all our power, we can't do anything to change you back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we play now? Can we play now? I made it just <laughs> in time. Can we play now? Oh, that is just so fucking sad. <laughs> Shout Tucker, correct? Who are you? Not military. Who are you? How did you get in here? There were military police out front. Foolish alchemists who turn their backs on the ways of God. <clears throat> Shall be punished. Daddy's hurting. Daddy hurts. No, Daddy. You poor creature. Once you've been given this form, there is no way of separating you again. At least, your passing will be in peace. God. Hear me. Two human souls have just been returned to you. Please accept them into your loving arms. Please grant these poor lost souls everlasting peace and salvation. Okay, that was the episode. Holy shit. Um Yeah, so so the brothers get access to some life master alchemist person. He said, hey, look, look, look at the research. You did well for helping the other time. You know, so if, ha have fun. Good luck. And then they have the, the little girl and her dog playing with, with, with Alfie running around. <laughs> and then the dad fucking transmutes her, to, turns her into a chimera. So it's like, and then it still wants to play. It's like, that is just so fucked. Anyway, uh, that was the episode. That was pretty fucking crazy. And I think I'm going to go ahead and watch the next one because what the hell. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon.
Goodbye.